Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And we're going to be carrying on with the um, the um, Ujit Salamanders, but it won't be the uh, Storm Talon that is finished. And he's waiting for me to finish off these last three models. So, what we're going to be doing is the Master of the Arsenal. No, we're not talking about the football team here. This is the guy who's over the um, third um, third company, and he's in charge of the weaponry. Um, I don't have the third company salamanders, but I'm going to paint them anyway. I'm going to do the whole masters thing. Well, as usual, we're um, starting with. Dark Angel Green, um, which goes right over the black. So when I find that, we can get cracking. Stop. We want a black shoulder pad with green trimming on this. I think I'm going to have to do some. I'm just going to have, a, have to have a nosy in a second. Or when I've done this part to find out whether it is black trim with. or green trim with. Um, black pad or whether it's completely different. But either way, we can. Um, Adjust it anyway, depending on what I find. I should have looked beforehand, but I just thought I'd get cracking with it, never gave it a thought. Um, I think I'm going to do the shoulder pad here as green, and then I'm going to do the rest of that gold. because I think that just looks like a, a big shoulder pad that really deserves gold trim. So the eagle's going to be gold. Well it's not an eagle, it's a... It's like a winged jewel type thing. But either way it's going to be gold. Along with the little cresty thing there that's going to be gold um, that needs to be green that will stay black is there anything else that I've missed not really <coughs> there we are ok next ok so I'm going to do his hand gauntlet here. I'm going to do it um, in the green. I'm going to do his helmet as he's a veteran obviously white which is why I'm not going to go over in the green. So I will go over that with grey. And his other hand which is holding onto his sword, I'm going to do obviously in the green as well because that's the armor colour. that done. So the green is all base calls it. And now we have the next job which is the cape. Now do I do it red? No I think I'm doing it grey. Just for 
a bit of a giggle, as it were. The other side of the well, the exterior parts of the cape is going to be black, but I think the inside should really be grey. No reason for it other than I decided that's what colour we're going to paint it. There we are. And this part is the inside of the cape as well. sure get right to the very top there and that's that done in my um, video showing the stone teller I did a section on making um, making um, scales I think for this fella I think I may do scales on the back of his cloak. Of work out of it, so I can't really set I mean I'm sure for it. And once it's turned green, I can roll it out and make a little sausage. Little tub of Vaseline out. Um, get my oh, um, I was saying something then, what was I saying? Well, I get my little tub of Vaseline out, which I have done, and get my uh, sculpting tool, which, as you can see, I'm working with, and I put it, I just get a little bit of the Vaseline on the work, on the sculpting tool, and then I can. Um, use this without the green stuff sticking to the tool and in case you didn't notice then what I try to do is mould the scales into the creases can get them off and 
Now then, what's up, dear? Does it seem to stick? Well, while I'm doing this, it's a long process. I'm going to turn the camera off, and when I get back, you can see it finished. Okay, so see you soon. Okay, that's that done, and there's the finished vertical. Um, that was quite a bit of a task. Oh dear, and I've just noticed that part of the grey that I should have, or part of the cut that I should have done grey, I haven't. So let's rectify that now. I can't really go over any more of this because it's what the um, the green stuff obviously hasn't set, so it needs. A good 24 hours. Well, it doesn't need a good 24 hours. It needs a good few hours to to set properly before I can start doing any more. So that's what I plan to do. I'm just going to leave it now to set, and then I can do some more. So while I'm waiting for that to do, I can move that to one side. I'm going to get the black out once more and I'm going to go over the handle of the sword in the black or the pommel of the sword or whatever it may be called um, there's that part there that needs covering and I think that's everything okay so Let's just continue now with the head. And we're going to do that in the shadow grey or the fang as it's called now. I said because it's because he's a veteran as well as a commander, you'd have a white helmet. Hence the reason. I'm doing the helmet grey. I was a veteran as well as a uh, not a commander, a master. So we'll just do that grey. And now let's just dry brush over his face grey. Yep. You can see that. So that can be done like that. Next, I might not be able to do the cape, but I certainly can just go over certain parts of this and one of the parts I'll be going over or some of the parts I'll be going over are the areas that are going to be metal and as you know we use the tin bits for this I've got the most horrendous heartburn at the moment It's not pleasant. I 
So, yes, I want this to be gold, so obviously I'm going to be going over this part with the tin bits. I'll try and make this valve as flashy as I can. Because I can. This bell's like a cook's terminator, so I know it's not, but it looks like one. There we are. The double headed eagle here. Part of this was pre pre heresy. Grandma. I think that's it's near off everything. I'm just going to quickly go over that. It's not going to stay that colour. But see what I mean about the pretty Harris it looks. Um so it's not going to stay that colour, obviously. I will be going over again with the um, Dark Angel Green. Um, which, I might do, which I probably will end up doing again on the gloves because um, I'll probably have ended up going over some of this with or some of the green with this or the gold. It's a foregone conclusion. I'm not very uh, not very steady with my hands. Especially after making all them little balls of green stuff for his cape. Oh, never mind. What do we have next? Uh, I think at the moment that's about almost as much as I can do. I'm going to use the Ministratum Grey to go over the helmet. And This will cover most of the helmet. Um, the high points I definitely want covered. Anywhere else, if I leave um, small areas of the fang showing through, all fine and dandy because, let's face it, it's going to be the shadow areas. dry brushing over all of this a little later with white scar. So there we go. see what I mean again that helmet looks very pre heresy do you not think? So it could well be pre-heresy armour is wearing, or a, ver or a variant of, with him being a master, he would have ancient armour, possibly ancient master crafted weapons. But, I think I've changed my mind over something. I've not changed my mind, but I've decided I definitely want the knee pads black. So I'm going to uh, 
just go over the centre parts with the knee pads. With the uh, Abaddon Black. Oops, so I've gone off camera. Um, there's also the shoulder pad here that I need to reinforce with the black. There we are. There's a couple of areas I may add a splodge or two of. Um, well, probably just a, another splodge of uh, green stuff. I don't know yet. See how it goes. But that's all I intend to do at the moment with this. Um, I don't think I'd be able. To yeah. I can. It's not quite all I'm going to do with this. I'm going to get the super glue. I'm going to squirt some in his neck and I'm going to place his head There you are. And that is now all I can do for tonight. Um, tomorrow I will paint all of the all this green stuff once it's uh, once it's set I'll go over with the Abaddon black um, and then we can start on the highlighting it won't be a very long video it'll just be me painting the cloak doing the bits of um, the dirt the um, the goblin green and then giving it a wash waiting for it to dry so that is the next video But for now, I'll say take care, God bless, and bye for now.